What's going on YouTube? It's your boy OG T Man and today we got Black YouTube Meets the Chill by the boy Nats. Now the only thing I've been seeing recently is just freaky content from from my community. I was like, I've been seeing what what rates of um twenty V ones. It's like that start it's just like rap. It feels like rap. It's starting to get old, bro. And I don't know. That's why I'm reacting to the video. I'm not finna sit up here and do that. I'll vlog my life. I'll react to other people's videos. And once I get my game and all my other stuff back, then I'll start streaming. But in terms of 20v1s, all that, I used to watch a lot as a kid. But now, well, not even as a kid. As a teen, like young teen, and as a kid. But now it's starting to get played out, bro. Back then, I used to be a horn, but now, shit feels like I'm watching stuff by corn dogs. Not knocking nobody's, you know, reaction, not knocking nobody's content. I love everybody's content. I hope everybody succeed, but stuff, certain stuff just starting to get aid out for real. Now, over the past few weeks or so, I've been really locked in looking at my analytics so I can grab some good topics to yap about for y'all. Because I'm nothing more than a man of the people. You know, I may be a professional pump faker, but best believe when I am ready to drop my nuts, I make sure to slam them. But uh, while I was looking... This video already starting off on wrong. You just know how to really fuck up my day. Why would you say that? You freak ball ass nigga. But you know what? I'm gonna let it slide. I'm gonna let it slide. Cause I do be seeing them off the wall and shit too. I'm gonna let it slide. This time. The analytics for the JoJo Siwa bit of all things. Tell me why in the f is my video getting recommended underneath this shit? Arcing in front of my best friend to see his reaction. I mean, what in the f is this thumbnail like none of these phrases are in the bible i promise you now i'm pretty sure i gotta blur it because like 30 percent of it is just it's like it's raw booty meat center frame but shorty has committed forbidden arc tech that not even the of peddlers have attempted what the hell you doing on this site man reddit needs you and dude on the side is pogging out of his mind like he ain't never seen a pair of bunions in his life his heart probably sound like the drums of liberation right now <laughs> he's going boom, 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 boom. <laughs> We need to get that man some freak D on ASAP before he hit blow. <laughs> oh, this is... <laughs> This is crazy. <laughs> Not to mention, they also got them freaky emojis, so you really know they want the gooners to be salivating and drooling over this one. And I get the clickbait for that juicy CTR, but all of this for a YouTube thumbnail, but that is insanity. But you know what? Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Surely the content can't be as bad and freaked out as the thumbnail titles leading me to believe, right? Yeah. It's like my was always trying to come out in the middle of the You <laughs> I see the dog, even the dog, like, what the hell you got going on, Shotty? Like, <laughs> I know we ain't even make it into the video yet, but it's like, wow. Come on now, even the dog, like, you need to chill. There's no way that my eyes are deceiving me this bad. Like, do I have to rewatch this with the spectacles on? Like, do I gotta do I gotta analyze this frame by frame? I mean, Shorty got on coochie cutters, a tank top that is so small that her nipples are popping out, and is just throwing cheeks in that man's face for content. Well, I'm gonna um horny nigga detected. Horny nigga detected. Yeah, we're gonna expunge them horn demons up out of you, gang. Just sit tight. Hold on a second. But in the meantime, I see this type of stuff and I ask myself, is this 2024 content? Like, is, is, is this what we doing? Yeah. I mean, this shit got near a quarter million views, so clearly something is working. The bag is indeed bagging. So, chat, I'm gonna need y'all to be honest with me here. Do I need to start showing off my voluptuous booty meat in the thumbnails to pull views too? Because. Twin, that's strike two. I ain't even gonna lie. I, I, I see what you're trying to do. Stop. 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 My nigga. My nigga. Stop. This generation already freaked out as it is. Stop. What are you saying? Adam, they don't call me Big Booty Buford for nothing. I'm toting that little wag. <laughs> Whoa. Matter of fact, I got that beanbag back there. I can stop putting in some beauty shot clips. You know, matter of fact, I'm going to give y'all a little taste. Hold on. Just sit right there. Sit right there. I swear to God, if this nigga shows his ass. I promise you, I don't know how much of this video I can watch. I really don't. I know I'm pausing it, and it's only 2 minutes and 25 seconds. But look at what the fuck he's doing. 
This nigga needs some help. Why? With the thug shit for the warm up. What's all that movement back there? Yeah, no, on second thought, I'm, I'm not doing that, especially since it's Prime Month. I'm not about to give y'all the wrong idea. Do not risk me. But you just saw that was too far. Anyways, back to this vid. Um, It's also double yeah. weird that she is doing all of this in front of her boy best friend. Shorty has on coochie cutters with half of her labia poking out three inches from dude's face and uploaded his freaked out reaction on the internet for all 715,000 people to see. Oh my lord. Lord, oh, that brother's done. His whole bloodline is cursed to oblivion. Also, we got to loop back to the fact that I literally only came across this video because my video was in the recommendations for this one. Meaning some of you niggas be watching this not a shit, bro. And whoever it is, I'm going to need you to come clean. We ain't going to put no hands or we ain't going to do nothing to you. We ain't going to touch you. I just want to pluck your algorithm and put in a test tube for studying. Anyways, what I just showed you guys is slop from the catacombs of what I have coined Hood Booger YouTube. This is a section of black YouTube that genuinely leaves me with like 20 different emotions every time I come across it. But even though I'm not particularly a fan of this type of content, and I also don't want to see any more of my people fall down the white warehouse pipeline, sometimes I just can't help but watch and pick this shit apart when I see it. Like the amount of degeneracy that lingers in this dark alley of YouTube is astonishing. It's filled with endless channels throwing up some of the most overly sexualized and unoriginal videos I have ever seen. From relationship vlogs gone sexual to smash your pass in damn near every city in America, it all somehow connects back to dick, cooter, and that's all they had. And sometimes they be so soaking wet and rock solid that they can't even keep their hands to themselves while recording. Your fans are so tired. <laughs> What's it grow to? <laughs> to at least nine. But what the hell? Yo, yo. <laughs> yo, what the fuck? <laughs> there is so much to unpack in just this clip alone. Like, what, the, what is going on? I know I'm laughing, but I am so overstimulated, bewildered, and ready to puke all at the same time. Like, this... <laughs> Let me break this down real quick so I can make sure we all understand it. They all pulled up to a studio to go inch for inch, dick for dick, nutsack for nutsack, live on camera. Um, would you say that you are kinky? You're a freaky frog! Chad, keep it a bug with me, man. Is this W Riz or sexual harassment that we're witnessing here? We're going to get to the rest of the clip in a second, but I just can't get over the fact that Shorty grabbed one dude's nuts, took her hands out of his pants, and then went over and grabbed another dude's meat three frames later. No hand sanitizer, no startup delay in between meat grabbings. And hell, it don't even look like she jiggled them family jewels while she was down there digging for gold. What do you mean by that? Yeah, nah, that's just nuts. No pun intended. <laughs> and to the dudes who signed up for this, what the f- what, 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 what are we doing, gang? I know y'all only here to bust down some OF jimmies, but y'all ain't want to draw the line at, I don't know, cross meat contamination? Hey, man, do y'all, but could not be me. Matter of fact, what that man Tyler say on Massa? Got to my self-respect, I wash my hands before I piss. Because whatever the hell this right here is, is how STDs get spread, gang. Folks really out here playing smash your pants, who got the most dick cheese edition? <laughs> Anyways, the rest of this clip is them doing even more meat offs, but this time they're just whipping out videos and showing Shardy. Yeah, I want to see you want to see it all? Who says a video? Who shows a video of the dick ones off? Like, who do that? You know. No. Yeah, we're going to send someone to come collect that camera from you, gang. Because y'all just showed the whole internet why you need to be banned from owning one. Hell, I don't even want y'all to be taking pictures no more. Like, no. But that's enough about the small fries. I think to truly understand how freaked out this side of the net is, we got to go to the epicenter. And one of the biggest creators of this whole virus is none other than the freaky frog himself, King Sid. What's the freakiest thing you've ever done? Oh. I peed on a girl like a good as sour. <laughs> Mmm, our kind is good. Mmm, it's, there's no doubt about it. We're good because of people like this. And I can't believe I, my horny ass used to sit there and watch this. I'm ashamed of myself. Even though I didn't know what I was watching back then, I'm still ashamed even to this day. Even though I do want to bust down some juniors because it's, but... They gotta have more self-respect than that. Nigga just said he pissed on her and made a golden shower. 
I should give your ass a, you know what, um... What? Freaky ass nigga, he a 69 god. Now this guy is a gigantic can of worms that deserves his own video as a whole. But in short, I like to think of dude as the hood rich Mr. Beast. Last to leave, Mystery Tub wins 10 grand. Yeah, no, there's Mr. Beast aura written all over it. And as for the theme for this side of YouTube, his content is pretty much just getting a bunch of people in white warehouses, lining them up and recording them have freak offs for views. And I am genuinely surprised he is getting any ads on this type of content. I mean, like, look at this. I want you to do it. 360 for me too, you feel me? Oh my Shit, look at that. Can we Oh my god, Nat. I I I wanted to grab it, but I got it. I can't I can't grab it. I can't grab it. Let me let me Oh my god. Oh my god. So we smacking Dookie shoes for motion. Now, like, is this where all of this leads to? And we're also lining up to do 360s for strangers. We're going to use you as a cum dump all because you think that BBL going to get you some dinner. Y'all are truly unbelievable, man. Matter of fact, if we ever cross paths, I'm whipping out the holy water and I'm pouring that shit on your head like it's honey. Y'all succubuses are going to burn. But this is literally all his content consists of. Smash your pass, find your match, guess the freak, and to be honest, but face to face. And yes, all of it is hypersexual antics. They be in the warehouses doing Gunnar aura clashes like his Dragon Ball. I declare myself as the biggest freak. No, I'm the biggest freak. Matter of fact, I'm taking all these down at once. Who wants to smack my ass? But flash forward to current times and this dude kind of fell off. You got caught in a bunch of drama with other YouTubers. I think it was scamming and stuff like that. On top of that, as you can see from his content, dude is just an overall little creature. And from what I've seen, that side of the internet just exiled old dude. Now he's on the corner just shaking a can for clout like Squidward. Spare motion, spare motion, please. I don't even know why I just did that. Dude still has like a hundred times more emotion than me. Like and subscribe so I can beat out King Sid. That's, that's the new goal. Anyways, I'm not going to go over what exactly happened because I honestly don't even know. But my boy Fargo did an amazing lore dump on all that, so check that out if you care after I already did it, so yeah, I'll go check out that video. I watched him break down why King Sid is at the point where he's at with that one. That one where I think it said it's old or another one. Y'all go watch. Y'all go back and watch and see. In this video. But like I said earlier, he was one of the founding fathers for this type of content. So when he lost his crown, a bunch of other channels snatched his freaky formula and then copy pasted it to their own channels. Which is why we now have a huge influx of 20v1 channels, which I did an entire video on two weeks ago. And since there was so much going on in the whole world of 20v1 channels, I missed some stuff. And I'm not gonna lie, gang, what I just found a few days ago, low key just makes this whole thing like 50 times wilder. So one of the channels I kind of show clips and thumbnails of goes by the name of Ryan with the sauce. Typical 20v1 smasher pass formula, y'all know the drill by now. However, this guy in particular does stand out with how absolutely egregious some of these blind date themes are. I mean, you've got bangers such as blind dating based off mugshot, blind dating based off middle school pictures, and blind dating based off of baby pictures. Two of these seem a bit of a small tad bit weird to say the least. But like, uh, uh, rating someone based off of what they look like as a minor, specifically a baby, is a, is a bit predatory. Story, don't don't you think especially considering that all of these freaks are 21 23 plus talking about long and vacuum sucking each other down i feel like you can see me the fuck out so i'm definitely smashing i want to spit on it i want to lick on it i want to All of us, all, everybody who be a part of this stuff, everybody who watch it, me included, I need help. I'm seeking God for help every single day. I'm steady grinding on YouTube. I'm steady trying to make an impact, man. I'm, I just need some motherfucking help. Help a nigga. Stop watching these horny ass people. Watch my funny ass content. Me reacting to these motherfuckers. <laughs> I'm a nigga like me. My voice is going now. <laughs> I'm so versatile. I do music. I do reactions. I do vlogs. Hell, I, I used to stream. I deleted all those. Because nigga, why? They always get copyrighted. They always get taken down for me cussing out some little kid. I need help. Help a nigga.
All the way. Shut up. up. Be quiet so you get exiled. But hey, maybe I'm in the wrong here. Maybe I'm thinking too much into it. So let's see what blind dating based off baby pictures truly means. Baby girl. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That 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 was a baby with no clothes on, by the way. I wish some of y'all would put a blindfold on and walk out in the middle of the street. Yeah, no, guards, lock him up. That nigga right there. Get him, get him. 200 lashes to the dick. Throw his ass <laughs> under the jail. Nigga, send, send Vitaly after his ass. I'm a sick f I like to quit f And to the woman, why the f would you pick this of all pictures to be rated on? Like, niggas couldn't have picked the one with Elmo at your second birthday party or, or, or something else like that. Nah, you just had to pick the one with you naked as a baby in front of 2.2 million people. You burp is lost, man. I don't even think holy water doing shit to y'all. Y'all need to, y'all just need to be fucking exercise. You know what? Put all of them on a list for even showing up at this prop because what the, what the hell do you mean rating each other based off of baby pictures? When the rapture comes, none of you will be saved. But um, if you thought that wasn't enough, Another 20v1 YouTuber by the name of No Love Mar also had an actual minor on for one of these 20v1s, telling grown women to do 360s. Guess you heard me correctly. 20 women versus one rapper, Lil Tyler, was uploaded seven months ago at the time of this recording. And Lil Bro had just turned 18 like four months ago back in February. You do the math. Go easy on the young ones, my man. Now, I didn't watch this video because I simply would have imploded having to watch a bunch of 21 plus Balrog at scrap over a minor. But looking at the comments and knowing how these videos operate, this is literally just a video of 20 women with some of them being half naked, mind you, doing 360s and talking freaky to an actual minor. All right, so you a munch? <laughs> what you like? What you mean a munch? You know what a munch is. I ain't a munch. So you, you don't give it all. <laughs> it's big and small. Is this nigga serious? Bitch, you look at least 23, 24, asking a 17 year old if he's a munch and if his dick is small. There's no way out of this one. And it's not even just her. Hell, all the women in this video look near my age. So that's 24 pushing 25 trying to riz up a 17 year old. I'm struggling to understand what do y'all have in common to even be put in this situation. Next video, I need something lighthearted. Please, please give me something lighthearted before I blow a gasket. Because if this were swapped and it was 20 males trying to raise up a 17-year-old woman, the reception to this video would be quite the opposite of praising a minor for finagling his way into some grown woman box. All you 16, 70 year olds doing like this, I hope you know you're a victim. Mm. You're going to have some trauma to unpack at therapy and that shit ain't no fun, gang. But circling back to the woman and no love Mar here, uh, did niggas not have like a peer review session or like a QA or anything before throwing this shit up. Like, did no one think that people were going to side either? Did you genuinely think there was going to fly under the radar scotch-free? I want all the women in this video put on the list for even signing up to do 360s for a child. And sure, the low Tyler thing is nowhere near as bad as the actual baby pictures thing. I don't even know, like, who the f QA signed off on that idea. We got a tie dude up and Chuck Stones on him for that. We 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 gonna watch you. But unfortunately, these aren't just one-off videos. A bunch of these channels have multiple videos doing stuff like this. Especially that King Sid dude. I'm starting to think he might be the P Diddy of the Hood Rich YouTubers. <laughs> You're evil, buddy. Niggas know about you. So a couple months ago, dude was linked up with the nine-year-old rapper Lil RT, who again is an entire Pandora's box of sh to open. In short, this is pretty much what Lil Dude is all about. I'm gonna Um, what the sigma? Yeah, now nah, we gotta drown little dude in holy water before his shiesty aura just grows way too powerful. And where the f did he learn all these bad words from? Lil Bro got a potty mouth. I know for a fact that Dora, Caillou, and Mickey Mouse ain't saying that on TV. You, you need to, you, <laughs> His parents are clearly using him for money and are for sure getting to that bread, but doing this at age nine is going to lead to nothing but becoming a level 1000 crash dummy by the age of 16. That poor boy's life was over before it even started. He didn't even get a chance. And it's extremely sad because I know for a fact Lil Bro do not want to do any of this. He want to just go play with some Legos in the like, he don't want to be a nine-year-old. I don't care how bad you claim your nine-year-old is. You give him some Pokemon cards, some Fortnite, and some Legos, that boy's going to behave better than you have ever seen him behave. Matter of fact, what's the CPS hotline, man? I will pay them to go save that kid. Anyways, like I said, um, King Sid's weirdo has had him in YouTube videos doing Tinder interviews for his mom, hosting Find Your Matches, and even had him doing Smasher Passes on his follow list. Oh, this one right here. Smash. <laughs> King Sid. And me, literally, me and my friends was talking about this shit yesterday. 
how the next generation after Gen X is fucking cooked. No, not even Gen X. Gen, my damn. My neck. Gen, after Gen Z, it's cooked. Like, fuck, dude. Like, if I don't I don't have my kids in, in very tip-top shape for this fucking world, they're going to be with them. And I'm going to cry as a parent. I'm going to be crying beating their ass, beating the parents' ass that let a kids do this shit and beating the police ass for trying to stop me because what in the fuck? Like, if y'all sit here and watch some, man, Lil RT, nigga at nine, y'all are brainwashing it. <clears throat> My nigga. Crying out for help. Uh. Know exactly what the fuck you are, nigga. But like I said, I used to watch this too. I'm a victim as well. I'm trying to, you know, become better, do better. I can admit when I'm wrong. So before y'all go like, oh, I know you used to watch this as well. I know. I'm a vic. I know. So don't even start that in the comments. I don't even want to hear that bull bull. Don't you even try and run. FBI, NSA, CIA, CPS, and Homeland all on the way to your address right now. You're done. Ain't no party like a King Sid party. <laughs> and just to clarify for the people in the back, this is all jokes. Chill out. Do not attack. Do not harass anybody. Chill. Anyways, if you want to see a full breakdown of the whole King Sid and Lil RT situation, I actually did a video going over that a few months ago. I'll link that down below, so go ahead and show a nigga a little bit of love. But all in all, this corner of the internet really seems to just be a gigantic cesspool of modern day freak nick matter of fact that is exactly what the hell this is this is just the start of freak nick 2024 sound the alarm freak alert freak alert after looking at some of these videos i would honestly not be surprised if these horn dogs are cooking up a dubious concoction of honey pack and hennessy cocktails and then popping rhino and viagra pills back to back before recording like ah niggas probably pulling up the set like ah honey pack viagra pill got me out of my mind i'm feeling slutty I like to get my dick sucked while I'm getting high. I cannot think of any other reason for niggas to be this freaked out in a YouTube video. And clearly, I'm not the correct demographic for this type of content. I mean, I'll be sitting in my room watching theme park lore videos. Like, that. that's my bread and butter. But regardless, I'm still struggling to figure out who the f*** is this even meant for. I don't know why, but I, I feel like it's just for high schoolers. Like, there's not enough Skibbity Sigma Riz for anyone younger than the age of 14. And this stuff is for sure making anyone above the age of 18 pop a cyanide pill. So that just leaves that gray area of like 15 to 17 year olds which is high school but luckily for y'all i love talking about and breaking these deviants down so i'm thinking about you know maybe making this a little serious you guys boom this one i'm dropping episode three of the hood booker chronicles i got i got some i got some freak a leak a delicious people <laughs> for this nigga's just yapping at this point but anyways like he said though he is right this this generation is cooked holy water can't save you i can't save you the only person who can save you is God. And if you don't hear him, shh, your ass gonna get cooked for real skis. But anyway, that's the end of the video. Shout out to him for just bringing awareness to this. Shout out to Nax, bro. I'm one day trying to get up there, get the views, get the... Because once I do, I'm spreading the word. Spreading the word of God, even though certain, certain people may, you know, all that written, all that religion stuff, I'm not gonna force nobody to, you know... Anyways, let me stop yapping, but... Let's hear who gooning right now. Yeah, uh, look, kids, age of five or ten will be genies over like sexual. It's exactly it's sad out here. They do need Uncle Ruckus. Bane Rot is has different genres. <laughs> That's crazy. Brain Rot has different genres. But anyways, this is the end of the video. If you like this reaction, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Without that being said, it's your boy OGT Main signing out.